We are here on IBC 2015 on the YVC boot and we're gonna check out the new YVC LS300 camera. Hi. Hello, I'm Gustav. Nice to meet you. LS300 uh, is our camera which we already have one year on the market. But uh, what a great thing is we do a lot of uh, customer value added and we have a new software release with a new function of the camcorder. May okay. I show it to you what is new on the LS300? Yes. Okay. First of all, this is a super 35 mm camcorder, which uh, MFT mount. And it's very important to mention MFT mount because the MFT, the, most people say, oh, it's MFT, it says MFT sensor, which is not. MFT sensor is about 30% smaller, and we're using a super 35. But there's a reason why we use the MFT mount, because it's the smallest distance to the sensor, which allows us to use, of course, a full format lens, which is made for MFT. We can use a real MFT lens, or we can use also PN, PL mount lenses, and you can simply adapt it by uh, adapters, and you get a bunch of lenses you can use with that camcorder with the Super 35 mm sensor. Well, Very interesting. yeah. Well, some people maybe say, well, when I have a lens which is uh, made for MFT sensor mm -hmm. and it's 30% smaller, I get the ignition in on the screen. So you have the dark spots or shadows. Well, in the camcorder, and when we're looking to the screen behind me here, and I, I make the selection, for example, we change to a different lens, which is very unique on that we can adjust exactly the scan rate and match the lens perfectly. And you can see when I move that here, I can adjust the screen ratio, for example, to an MFT format. Okay. Or even to a Super 16 lens. Okay, very interesting. So you can use lots of kind of lenses with this camcorder. This and is one feature. Yeah. And uh, is 4K in all the modes or is there a limitation on 4K on the screen? Uh? If, we, if we're using this function, mm -hmm. we can adjust from Super 35 mm to MFT. Okay, that's 4K. Yeah, oh. if we switch to HD, uh, and HD runs up to 60 and 50p, if we switch to HD, we can go down to HD lenses, so even Super 16. Okay. Yeah, because the lens has not the resolution for 4K, that makes no sense to record in 4K. Mm -hmm. So then the feature goes down up to HD resolution lenses. Okay, but Super 35 and Mark 4 are both 4K. Yes. And that's the most important. Correct, correct. So what we add for the recording section in, into that is when we look to the recording format, on the existing model, we have the uh, 4K of the UHD recording, we have HD recording, we have SD recording, and we can also, um, we have two SD cards in, we can record HD plus a proxy file okay. for the web. But what's also new, what's new now is the Cine 4K recording, our 4096 pixel okay. instead of UHD. And also for the people who like to do the HD or the Cinema HD, then we have really Cinema 2K recording capability in 24p. Okay, very nice. Yeah. Well, furthermore, we have changed some settings on the camera, which I show you in the um, camera process menu. We have a new gamma setting on this one, which is very interesting. Here we have the gamma setup. So we can select the standard ITU709 gamma, which is 2.2, and we can select the cinema gamma about 2.6, and we create also the, we call it GVC lock or the J lock. It's actually a cinema lock, which gives you 800% uh, more wider dynamic range. Okay. And you get more details in the picture, and it's perfect to do that in your post for the color grading, etc., or for the picture artist impressions. So it's a sort of flex profile? Yes. Okay. And it was missing in the beginning of yes. the camera? Yes, and so we added that so we to the feature. So we have a flat profile? Correct. And also, uh, first of all, what I cannot show because it's on the small screen, mm -hmm. we add uh, histogram and we add, uh, we add also spot meter. Okay. But there is something very unique. You have seen before the adjustment of to measure lens. Mm -hmm. So let's keep in mind, I use here, for example, 
a 50 millimeter optics. And I want to do a HD production. And I can use that adjustment to create a zoom function on a static lens. Okay. That's very unique. And for example, you have normally this normal locker switch here, which is, not, of course, by a camera when you use a power zoom lens. And it's also quite unique when we go to these adjustments, we can select the power zoom lens, mm -hmm. or if you have a lens which has mechanical zoom but electronic focus, mm -hmm. you can go to the focus adjustment, then you can use that switch to do the focusing. Okay. And the variable scan mapping here, this is the new feature. And I guess the best is I give you an example, when we get a small picture like here, when we see a picture, I hope it's visible. So I can use a digital zoom without picture quality loss. In the case when I do a shot, say 50 millimeter lens, I say, oh, shit, I need a 60 millimeter or 70 millimeter. You can use that as a great tool to adjust that. Of course, in the HD mode to run about 60% correction, mm -hmm. in the 4K mode maximum 20% correction. Okay. Yeah. The camera, furthermore, as when I turn it around, I hope it is visible here, when I turn around we have two slots for SD cards. Okay. Can it do mirror recording? You can, you can do backup recording of course, but you can do also double recording, that means HD and uh, SD on the other side. Okay. You can have continuous recording, but for the 4K recording, normally you need a dedicated SD card. And the SD card is called UHS-1 U3 to give the speed capability to record 4K. Well, these cards you can purchase here in the normal town area, etc. You can order that. But keep in mind you go on tour with the camcorder in the country and maybe you are not able to get that. But what you get normally everywhere in the world is class 10 cards, which yeah. you normally use here for photographs. Well, you have a sort of these UHS-1 cards in your pocket, but suddenly you run out of memory mm -hmm. and, oh shit, so you want to do something more? And we have a good help for this. Of course, it's a little bit dropped down in the quality, but in our recording format, when we change to 4K, we can drop from 150 megabits mm -hmm to 70 megabit okay. and that allows you to use the class 10 cards and save your day yes your and save your day well on this camera this is not all this camera has fully ip functionality okay. even this camera have can do live streaming this camera can do ftp file transfer this camera have a full built-in remote control feature and this re remote control is not a simple remote control, it's really an RCU like you know from a studio controller which costs you alone two and a half thousand euro. And this is everything built in in this camcorder. You don't have to do a dedicated application, so you just need a web browser and you can use that. So very easy to do that. Of course, all the, our family, the main family of our camcorders has all this streaming capability, so we have a whole family once you have it, you can use here on the connection, you have a USB host, so you can use a cable connection to CAT45, you can have a Wi-Fi dongle, and you can use also LTE dongle, and you go directly to the web. It supports RTMP, TCP, UDP, uh, R, and uh, also 60 live streaming protocols. Okay. Everything is ready built in, just for 3,500 euros. That's a quite uh, good price, and with the, up, uh, with the updates uh, you solved some of the early complaints about the camera from you. No, not a complaint. No, yeah, the, uh, not, not a complaint. First of all, we yeah. have a vision to, to add more features, yeah. to make a more value add, mm -hmm. and of course there's not complaint, so we listen to our customers. Mm -hmm. That's why we're making the, custom, the, 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 the cameras say, can we have this feature, yeah. or do you think it will be possible to do that mm -hmm. features? And as long as it's possible, our engineering team tries to make that happen into mm -hmm. the camcorder. So it's a permanent value add. Mm -hmm. For example, I can also say, well, you purchased this camcorder with that features, and now we bring, for example, this one year ago, it mm -hmm. was LS300, and I may, today I can say, well, it's an LS310, for example. Mm -hmm. 
and then the customer before say, oh, that, that camera has now the feature which I want to, yeah. and he has to purchase an, okay. a new camera and sell the other one away. This is what we don't want, no. because the firmware update, which we did already, is free of charge. So if you have the camera already, end of the month you get this firmware update and you have these new features ready for your own camera. So you have a real value add. It's not a complaint. It's really a value yeah. add to the camera. I think it's a very nice and complete package. Thank you. And uh, uh, for me personally, I'm also now really interested after uh, the updates and uh, this information. You should information. try it, yeah. So, so this was the JVC LS300 on the JVC boot on IBC 2015. Thanks for watching.